Hey everyone and welcome to another video presented to you by TechnishaStudios.com So in this video we are going to learn how to create the long shadow effect So the long shadow effect has been very popular amongst the, the internet for a very long time So let's see how to create it So first uh, for our knowledge the long shadow effect is a, uh, like text with a sh long shadow coming to its right side tilted to an angle of 45 degrees or such that and e from starting from the text and ending to the r uh, right corner or bottom corner of the image so let's start by creating our text so let's uh, select the text tool and let's type in our text for this text I'm using the baby's font and a text size of almost um, uh, 243 pixels so let's type in long or let's increase the size to make it a little bit bigger yeah now let's position it into the center of the screen and now uh, we'll create a new layer and we'll go to the shape um, uh, like this uh, shape uh, tool and then we'll select the line tool from there we'll create a straight line and which would have the fill of black color and a stroke of black color with uh, uh, stroke pic uh, stroke equals to two pixels and we'll do that and we we'll, uh, select the shape press control or command T if you're on the Mac and then uh, go to this angle and change it to minus 45 degrees so this will give us this slanting effect and this would um, rather be used uh, this would be rather used as our guide in this process so let us position uh, it uh, at the edges where our um, shadow will start and will end let's position one over here like this place I guess I'll quickly do this and we'll We'll duplicate this uh, layer and place this over at the top where the shadow will come back. And we'll create different for uh, every word. Basically, uh, two will join. Uh, two guides will join all of the words. One ending and one starting from here. this is perfect and as you can see now we have our guides we can group them into a single group and we can start our work for that let's choose the pen tool and uh, select uh, shape from this drop down menu and select the fill to be black and uh, let's create a new layer let's zoom inside this uh, holding the space bar key let's uh, add an anchor point over here and then over here for the present we are using only this and then let's turn down the opacity to about um, 50 percent yeah so now let's start doing our work let's go and create this mask over here and start do uh, and go on doing like this so we can always zoom in uh, to make it perfect all the time worry for the uh, spaces you leave in the middle cause we would be covering them up at the end and don't worry about uh, it's going up it's going down and all things like that just to uh, follow the path you created at the first so let's zoom out by pressing control or command minus on the keyboard and let's add another anchor point over here and let's start adding another one and end the path so now our 
sh a shadow is complete and let's move the shadow below our text layer to make it look nicer and let's turn off or delete our groups now as you can see we have got this effect and you can now increase the opacity to about 70 percent and you can also add different different like uh, many other other shadows for this work also so thanks for watching stay tuned on technicia studios for more such tutorials thanks for watching